Hi and welcome back to the farm. My name is Rachel and today I want to share something that's I don't even know how to describe it. So last night we were watching a show and they were talking about dreaming big dreams. And as we were watching this show, it was so unreal the amount of similarities in our lives and dreams and thoughts and hopes. And I found myself extremely overwhelmed with the reality that that's us. We are dreaming such big dreams. Our dreams didn't stop the moment we came to North Georgia. In fact, they've only gotten bigger since we've been here. And it made me realize that it's okay to dream. It's not a lack of faith to look for something bigger. As long as you have joy in the season that you're in and contentment in the season that you're in, it's okay to dream bigger. It's okay to say, this land that I have is beautiful, but there's more out there. This experience I just went through was amazing, but I know my God is bigger. And I think by dreaming big, we don't put God in a box. And I know I'm going to keep dreaming. I have a fire that's been lit inside of me that I cannot contain and I want everyone who watches that to feel it and see it and most importantly know that they can do it too. When you're starting a garden you don't just plant a seed. You water it you give it the right soil conditions. You don't just plant that seed and normally walk away from it. And when it begins to grow and it begins to flourish, you continue to come back to it and you continue to think bigger. If I can grow one tomato plant, I can grow two tomato plants. And I believe that's the same with dreaming. If I could dream this dream and this happens, if I can dream this dream and it happens, then I can dream another dream that's even bigger. What's holding you back from dreaming? What is hindering you? For me, it was fear and I'm no longer fearful. I'm going through it and I'm walking through it with an open heart and an open mind. And I would encourage you to do the same thing. If you've got dreams, start planting those seeds. Start opening it up and allowing others to take those seeds and plant it as well. Jessica Sowards of Roots and Refuge just recently said, when you harvest dreams, they're full of seeds. And seeds bring multiplication. And I believe that is exactly what we're doing out here at Johnson Branch. We are harvesting our dreams and we are sharing those seeds with those around us. Um, the garden, the things in the garden, the things of this life are meant to be shared and we are doing the, just that. Let's keep sowing those seeds together. What are you dreaming of and what are the steps you're taking to get there? Pray about it, seek God after it, and I do believe each step along the way will show itself. May the Lord bless and keep you. Until next time.